Hi guys, this is Jitinder from Techform. Today we are going to do unboxing of Zenfone Max which has been announced recently. When you open the box, <coughs> you will find the phone. It's in plastic cover. Here it is. This is the phone and in the box besides phone you will find warranty card, user's guide, <coughs> charger, charging cable and <coughs> This is for charging the other devices because this phone has 500, 5, sorry, 5000 mAh battery which is a very massive battery for a smartphone. <coughs> this phone what we have got from Asus is of black color. It's a little bit heavy but the heaviness is because of 5000 mAh battery but still it can be easily handled with one hand <clears throat> in this phone all the rock all the buttons have been given on the right hand side <clears throat> this is power button this is volume rocker there is nothing on the left hand side and between display and cover it's a strip of aluminium which looks nice the buttons are quite <coughs> tactile this is power button and these are volume rockers in the earlier phones <coughs> these buttons were not on this side they were provided on the top but which used to look odd to some it was okay but for others it was an odd features that's why SS has changed the buttons to right hand side this this time now this phone is starting the back of the phone has leather like texture which looks good it's Asus branding, Zenfone branding, this is rear camera, this is 13 megapixel rear camera with dual tone LED flash and Asus has provided <coughs> cons concentric circles which is the trademark of ASUS in all of their phones. When you set the phone it looks like this. <clears throat> this phone has 5.5 inch HD display with resolution of 720 by 1280 pixel resolution it has gorilla glass protection for safety purpose this phone <coughs> is driven by snapdragon 4 410 processor along with <coughs> 2 gb ram and 16 gb of internal storage which can be extended up to 64 gb via micro SD card this as I told you earlier this phone is has a weight of 202 grams but still it is com comfortable to hold this phone runs on lollipop 5.1 OS with Zen UI on top of it this is one of the better users interface we have seen 
despite the fact that it has been this user interface is on top of lo lollipop and it's very easy to operate this phone comes with 13 megapixel rear camera with laser autofocus and dual tone LED flash and has 5 me megapixel front camera for taking good selfies and on this phone you can make videos in 1080 pixels both with rear camera and front camera besides that the rear camera has slow motion <coughs> HDR and time lapse features ASUS is known is known for good camera quality and this phone will not disappoint you on this aspect also although we have not tested yet the camera qualities but from going by the specification the feature looks quite impressive this phone <coughs> the uh, the USB of this phone is 5000 mAh battery which is quite massive for a smartphone the back panel of this phone is removable this is the battery massive battery and <coughs> these are slots for this is a dual sim slot these are slots for dual sim and for and this is slot for micro SD the other feature of this phone is that this phone has <coughs> reversible charging feature also which means that with this battery you can charge other phone also with the help of this device here you can connect to other phones <coughs> this phone will solve the problem of battery going very fast and from the specifications the company claims that this phone will be good enough for at least two days to run on a single charge this claim has yet to be verified by us but going by the specifications this is a doable feature on this phone the other plus point of this phone is that this phone is priced very aggressively it has been priced rupees 9999 and in this price range with a massive battery it is going to be a great deal we shall be testing this phone for another one week's time and will then come out with a detailed review thank you and bye bye